There's some new information we can share with you now. You just saw it. Jaime Batiste is elected, but this is the big story. Maxime wow. Bernier has lost his own riding. Lisa, the dairy farmers will be throwing champagne in the cattle <laughs> feed tonight. <laughs> and that's a really <laughs> significant defeat. His yeah, father was elected four times yeah. there. This guy elected after that. Uh, so that has been a boast. Bernier seat for a very long time. And it wasn't and it, even close. And it's a real interesting referendum on populism in yes. Canada. In the big world yes. that we're watching in the United States yeah. and Brexit, yeah. he tried to ride the coattails of populism. It didn't work. And I don't know what happens to the People's Party because there ain't no people. Because no. to your point, no, but Evan, to your point, he is certainly over the weekend and the whole story of was somebody trying to co-opt his yeah. campaign, the Conservatives. But he wrote those tweets that used words like, um, you know, here it is, the, uh, the total votes. Wow. Uh, wow. So Sheer so actually at this moment has more Very votes popular than, vote. than Justin Trudeau, wow. the popular vote. Interesting. Um, very interesting. We're not going to hear the end of that. We're not <laughs> nearly over, though. But your reaction, Antonia, to Maxime Bernier's loss there? So this is a very interesting. It's, it's, it's been a, a, a Bernier seat for so many years uh, in the Beauce. But I think it's really interesting to also point out that this is the only good news story for the Conservatives in Quebec tonight. Uh, they were supposed to gain seats in Quebec. They have lost uh, already losing two seats. Uh, this is the only gain they're probably going to make. And uh, let's go Congress. right to Todd Vander Hayden, who is in that riding reaction there. Todd, to the loss of his own seat for Maxime Bernier. Yeah, good to talk to you, Lisa. And just to build on what Antonia was saying, absolutely a rare pickup for the Conservatives in Quebec amid the bloc surge. Uh, we know that uh, Andrew Scheer came to this riding late in the campaign to try and win this. They had a very strong local candidate, it should be said. This guy's a fourth generation dairy farmer. His name is Richard Lahou, also a longtime mayor in this region. And you talk to people in this uh, part of the country and this part of the province, and they say, you know, we know Maxim Bernier. He's won four times in landslides. But but this was too much. He was talking about uh, immigration and multiculturalism and the climate change hysteria. People in this riding wanted to talk about pocketbook issues. They wanted to talk about jobs. They wanted to talk about agriculture. And so the question now is, what does Maxim Bernier do? Obviously, it was very personal with him and Andrew Scheer. He lost that leadership by 650 votes. What does he do now? Does he leave politics altogether? What happens to the People's Party of Canada? What happens to all these people who came here tonight hoping that he would win and it would move on? We'll have to see when he comes down and, of course, concedes. Lisa, back to you. Thank you, Todd.